Hey everyone, this is Sean with RV Bass. I'm going to give you a Lake Comanche fishing report for October 24th. Um, yesterday I fished Yakabass uh, TOC tournament. I was fortunate to get sixth place, um, and I'll tell you exactly how I caught him. Um, Lake Comanche is currently at 64% uh, percent capacity. Uh, service temp was 70 degrees, give or take, depending on what part of the lake you're fishing. So for the tournament, I was fishing the favorite, everyone loves it, the drop shot rig. Um, I fished it all day long. That's the only way I catch fish at Lake Comanche this time of year. Uh, so I was using a 4 inch Robo Worm and Prism Shad on a size 1 Gamagatsu drop shot hook. Um, I think one of the biggest keys was the leader length. Um, usually you have a little small 10 inch leader or so. Um, I was fishing about 24 to 30 inch leader. Um, that's pretty far off the bottom. I think that was the biggest key. I caught majority of my fish were on that longer leader. Um, it just kept the bait in the fish's face, I think. And that kind of triggered a lot of the strikes. Um, I was fishing the main body. If you're familiar with Comanche, there's a lot of ledges in Lake Comanche. I was specifically targeting ledges in 25 to 35 feet uh, deep. Most of the ledges, the areas specifically, were the end of the ledges when they came to a point, or if those ledges had like any any changes, like a big crack or something in them, uh, somewhere where those bass could stage up and uh, ambush uh, those uh, bait fish. So super simple, drop shot, four inch prism shad, um, you know, 24 inch, 30 inch uh, liter length. Uh, that was the key. And uh, keep moving around. I found some fish that would eat right away as soon as you dropped it down. And there was other fish. You would see them on the graph, go down, look at it. And for whatever reason, they said I want nothing to do with it. I wouldn't spend too much time on those fish. Um, after a few minutes, they don't bite. I would move on. And eventually you'll find a school that's just loaded with hungry fish. So there you go. There's your Lake Comanche Fishing Report. Good luck, everyone, and be safe on the water.